Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. As most of you know, politicians tend to be extremely misleading. This is no exception when it comes to the candidates that Don DeZarn and I are running against for New Jersey legislature. Today, I want to talk about the Democratic candidates for New Jersey Assembly that I'm running against and how they are attempting to mislead you unfairly. And I'm going to start with Wayne D'Angelo. So Wayne D'Angelo put out an ad in which he says he's very proud of himself for helping veterans go to college and find jobs. Yes. On the surface, this sounds wonderful. Of course we want the best for those who risked their lives for us out in the Middle East. For those, regardless of whether or not they actually fight in the Middle East, are willing to sacrifice their lives for our freedom. Of course we want the best for them. Of course we want to ensure that they go to college and that they find jobs. But what interests me about Mr. Wayne D'Angelo's emphasis on this particular point is that he doesn't talk about the fact that, in general, unemployment is high in the state of New Jersey. It's over 8%. And it's not only veterans who are suffering from unemployment. And what is the cause of unemployment? High taxes, high spending, high debt, but he doesn't talk about it. He doesn't talk about the reality of unemployment, and he doesn't talk about the fact, again, that unemployment doesn't only affect our veterans, it affects all of us. And again, I reiterate the fact that I love and cherish our veterans and what they sacrifice for us, but using them as pawns in a political election, to me, is insulting, when in reality, when in reality, people should not be treated as members within a group, but people should be treated as individuals within a society. And the Democrats work really hard. They work really hard to try to divide us and say, well, we do this for the Demo well, we do this for the, the veterans, we do this for the senior citizens, we do this for the blacks, we do this for the women, we do this for this we do this for the green energy group, whatever. But what they never say is, we do this for everybody. We do this for everybody. And they never say that. So they're extremely misleading when they talk about, well, Wayne D'Angelo, for example, is extremely misleading to you when he touts himself by saying that he helps veterans get college, the access to college and jobs, because he's not talking about how he gets everybody access to college and access to more jobs. He picks a group and attempts to divide us. And I, again, I say this with all due respect to every great group within society and what each group contributes. As I have uh, charity towards all and malice towards none. A great quote from former President Abraham Lincoln. Next, Wayne D'Angelo says that he supports small businesses and he talks about how he's opposed to certain regulations that prevent small businesses from spending money on other things like hiring more employees. Now, while this sounds great on paper, the problem is 
that Wayne D'Angelo doesn't give a full, a full, honest picture of why small businesses are struggling and why we're suffering from so much unemployment. And why is that? Well, we have extremely high property taxes and income taxes here in the state of New Jersey. In fact, those of you who watch my videos, at this point you know, we have the highest property taxes in the entire country. And our income taxes are something like the fifth highest in the entire country. And evidence demonstrates quite clearly that when taxes are extremely high and spending is extremely high and debt is extremely high, the economy and the employment level does extremely poor. And Wayne D'Angelo doesn't talk about that. Instead, he says, well, we picked one particular regulation that was was making things hard for certain small businesses and we took care of it. So this is why you should trust us. And I, by us, I mean him and Dan Benson, the other candidate for New Jersey Assembly here in the 14th District, who I shall talk about shortly. And of course, they're grouped with Linda Greenstein, the candidate for New Jersey Senate in the 14th District. My point being, that Wendy Angelo doesn't give the full picture. He doesn't tell the truth. He's misleading. He says the words that he thinks you want to hear. So I bring up again the fact that taxes are abnormally and extraordinarily and disgustingly high in the state of New Jersey and that that is the true cause of severe unemployment, record-breaking unemployment, and poverty in the state of New Jersey. But they don't want to tell you that because they choose to attempt to mislead you. And I'm talking about Wayne D'Angelo, Dan Benson, and Linda Greenstein. They don't want to tell you the reality of the issue. Next, Wayne D'Angelo talks about how important it is to help people to listen to them and to ensure that we all work together. And while I do legitimately believe that Wayne D'Angelo probably listens to most of the people who express their concerns to him, I insist to you that he's not honest and upfront about the fact that a state legislature, a, a member of the New Jersey assembly has a specific job and that he has to talk about exactly what it is that an assemblyman can do to help members, uh, residents, citizens of New Jersey. He doesn't. He, he makes a vague statement about helping people and listening and working together all on the surface great things. But what is it specifically that Wayne D'Angelo is supposed to do for you and your friends and your family members and your neighbors and your coworkers and even the people you don't like? He's supposed to pass laws that protect you. That's it. He's supposed to pass laws that protect you. He's not supposed to pass laws that give you special favors, which is... In fact, unfortunately, what he is doing, and so is Dan Benson, and so is Linda Greenstein, uh, his running mates. And I'll give you one example. Wayne D'Angelo loves to talk about all that he does for green energy industry and the jobs that, uh, through his uh, belief in corporate tax incentives that he offers, what that can do and to create jobs for these people, but here's the problem. He's subsidizing an industry. And not only is he subsidizing an industry, but he's taking away your right to choose how your money is spent. He's taking your tax dollars and saying, these particular companies are going to get your money case closed. That's not fair. That takes away your right to choose how your money is 
bet. That takes away your right to choose how your money is spent. And in no way is this, this arbitrary and unfair way of spending your money without your say in any way compromising your safety. It's an attempt to manipulate our economy. And again, it's unfair and it's disrespectful towards you. But Wayne D'Angelo says it creates jobs and it helps green energy. Not quite. It props up companies who will vote for him. It props up people who work in companies that will vote for him. That's what it does. But it does not genuinely help our economy. And that's the point. And that's that, that it goes back to the point that he is not being directly honest with you, completely open with you. He's misleading you. But he's, he's not the only candidate who is extremely misleading. So is his running mate, Dan Benson, the other Democratic candidate for New Jersey legislature. And... What are a few examples of what makes Dan Benson extraordinarily misleading? Well, let's start with the fact that he says he works to eliminate red tape, which makes businesses more competitive. Sounds great, but it's not only eliminating red tape that makes businesses more competitive. What is it that really makes businesses more competitive in terms of what policies can offer. Lower taxes. And not only lower corporate taxes, but lower property taxes and lower income taxes. But he doesn't want to say that. He doesn't want to talk about the fact that the more money you allow to exist in the hands of people in general, the more they can spend. The more they can spend on jobs, the more they can spend on just shopping. The amount of people that, the amount of money that people can spend on shopping makes a huge difference in terms of how our economy grows. But because we're sucking out the assets and the money of people, we're making it harder for people to shop as they would wish, whether they're buying necessities or luxury items. Uh, another thing that Dan Benson says, he says, quote, capping tuition makes college a more affordable. And the theme of the evening is misleading political assertions. What's misleading about this? Well, it's not merely cutting, or rather capping, tuition that makes college more affordable. So does cutting government subsidies. And if you watched a recent video of mine, I, I spent a lot of time discussing quite clearly how cutting government subsidies for people to go to college makes college cheaper. And the Vice President of the United States, Joseph Biden, agrees with me. So, truly removing government subsidies for college students helps make tuition more affordable for college students. But what else? Let's also note the fact, ladies and gentlemen, that if you would merely cap